a lot of the restrictions and requirements on the athletes are really almost identical to how I've approached my Olympic Games in the past anyway. You're not allowed to arrive more than three days before your competition. You have to leave within 48 hours after your last competition. You can't congregate in big groups in the dining hall. You've got to stay in your little bubble of four or five people the whole time and stay to your room and all of that. That's exactly how I've always treated an Olympic Games. Like it hasn't been a big social experience for me. It's all about the competition. And so it's going to be pretty routine. I actually think people are going to perform at a really high level and a, a greater depth because there won't be the same distractions that athletes from all the different sports face. Track and field can be quite challenging because we're in the second half of the games. So you get all of the swimmers and people from other sports partying up the second week of the games and coming home from the parties at four in the morning outside of your um, apartments, making a hell of a noise. So um, there's not gonna be any of those distractions this time around, so that will be quite nice. Some walk around like they're in Disney World and some are there like they're there to that there for business and business alone, but everybody's going to be there for business alone. So I think the quality and the depth of performance is going to be much greater. There's not going to be as many athletes distracted by all of the other um, shenanigans that can go on, I suppose.